got a ticket to ride. Yes, she does. You know, I don't know, did you get a chance to see um, the documentary on uh, the Beatles that get no, back? No, that's why I said when we had our free meeting today about our big podcast that we should play a Beatles song because you watched the whole documentary. You came in last week, you were so excited. I was it. excited about it because yeah. it was it was really, if you haven't seen it yeah. and you get an opportunity, I, I really highly, highly recommend it. Well, welcome to the uh, Sean and John podcast, episode number, did we look? Yeah, it's episode number 21 of season two. two. So welcome to it. It's a beautiful sunny day here, August, uh, beginning of August, right? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. August 3rd, I guess. August 4th. August 4th. So we're taping this on a Thursday, August 4th. <laughs> uh, today, officially the first day of school for my kids Is it? and my wife, because my wife starting her 11th year. And uh, we'll start the podcast with a picture of her. Look how excited she is. Oh, are you going to send that to me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She she really I'm is. Like, so excited. Well, you know what? She's getting out of the house. Like, she's she's really excited. Oh, so I don't know if she's like waking up at six thirty this morning. <laughs> and uh, but a big day in the in the rich household family. Sydney going into eleventh grade. Wow. And I'm usually so I say this to like the midway, but this is what's going on. This happened in Sydney. Who was more excited, Sydney or my wife Debbie? Debbie was definitely yeah. more excited, and we'll save Debbie. the best for last. Oh, Colin, Colin, because he was he did get up early, and I think he brushed his hair today. Let me see. Let me see. I think he brushed his hair. He doesn't look bad. Number eight, oh, eighth grade, obviously. Yeah. He's got and if you, if you look really close in the corner there, you can there's see. a picture. That's a can of. That's a Bob Ross. Energy drink, but that's all another story. Oh, uh, so how you been so far? It seems like we haven't done these in a while. We did a uh, shortened one on on, uh, on Monday, Monday for the special, which, by the way, the specials have been really absolutely good. outstanding in the grill. So if you don't yeah. know, we have a uh, weekly specials now instead of a special every day. Uh, the Steve, the general manager, and uh, the chef. Um, Pick two items and we run them all week as a special. Yeah, usually a sandwich and some special salad. Right. So this week uh, we had a Reuben and a Oriental chicken salad. Right. Oh, which one did great. you? Which one did you? I, Gosh, I had an were, Oriental this morning. The Oriental chicken salad was really good. Yeah. But the Reuben, James actually yeah. cooked. Yeah. I mean, chef. The, our, chef. Yeah. He didn't. This wasn't packaged corn. Do meat. you think that? Uh, next week is going to be better. What we should do, we've had them already for a month of July. Right. We started in August. We, we should rate them. You know, we haven't rated them when we're done. I don't know if we're okay. done or is it weekly. You know, which what's the best thing we've had so far? Gosh, that's going to be tough. I'll tell you, I, I'm going to tell you that I had the chicken caprese last week. Oh, that was And really that was good. probably my favorite. That was really good. Yeah. And uh, the Reuben, which, by the way, you and I split on Monday. Um, I'm going to have one for lunch tomorrow. But that is, it was really good. So the food, if you've never really eaten here at Harbor Hills for lunch, we are open to the public downstairs. Uh, basically, you could uh, get lunch, full lunch menu until about 3 o'clock every day, and then a light lunch menu after that. So. And speaking of food, yes, we, got we have a special for our members this month. Oh, yeah. Why don't you talk about that? That's yeah, a great idea. Um, I'm glad I thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> for the month of August. Right. Um, all members, if you sign up, come in for Sunday brunch, it's free mimosas for the members. Members only, but it's free mimosas. So it's so, our little give back on an August uh, Sunday a afternoon? Absolutely. I think the, well, that's, that's like a six ninety five value. And so, you have to, we do recommend reservations for that. need to make reservations. So to three five two seven five three seven thousand for that. Right. Um, so that's Sunday brunch, which is a nice thing. By the way, do you notice that the weather's really nice today? It's actually a little cooler than it's been. It's we got a nice breeze. I noticed that this morning. Skies. It's yeah. absolutely gorgeous. You know what's a gorgeous? We day missed there. a launch this morning. I completely missed. There was a launch from the uh, Cape. I saw it on everybody's socials, but I completely missed it. Did you see it this morning? You know, I missed it. I forgot. Um, but they were saying there was like a hundred thousand visitors really? out to Coco to watch the launch. Oh my goodness, that's incredible! Wow. And, and we usually just sit up here in the background, and especially today, like it's a blue day, blue wow. sky day. You can see it clear as day. Um, but I've never really gotten that close. Have you? Did you ever take the kids down there? Oh yeah, we we used to have a condo at Coco Beach, and oh. we watched the uh, show launches from the top floor. Still one of my favorite all-time shows is I Drew a Genie. 
Right? Wasn't that, it took place in Cocoa it, Beach? It was at Cocoa Beach. Yeah. In fact, I was one street over from I Dream of Jeannie Way. I'm, I'm dating myself. Oh, oh my God. God. By the way, uh, next week is a big, big week for me. I turned the, the ripe age of zero five. You're joining your wife. Yes. So, you know, um, I can remember the podcast when you were going 49. I remember the podcast we did when I was 30, but it was a different podcast and a different situation. But yeah, it was it was incredible. You know, we were reading some real estate news a little earlier today, and it looks like, you know, obviously we know what's going on with the market, and interest right. rates have been typically a little bit higher. Uh, demand has slowed a little bit, and the inventory is very low. And we were reading today, John and I, that interest rates actually came down today, which is really good news. That so is, that's great news. If you're in the... In in the market of buying, it's great for you. And really, if you're in the market of selling your home, that's also great because you know the buyers won't pay as much interest rates and they can buy more home and uh, it all goes around and around. But that was kind of interesting. My brother Adam, as I'm talking like a run on sentence, is getting ready to do a video, he says. Um, he hasn't done one in a while. He's been on a summer break, as he says. He's like the kids. He's been on break. He hasn't done a walk through Wednesday video or anything. He's just like slacking. But um, it's gonna he's be the giving top, yeah, five. top, five, top reasons five reasons to buy. To buy, and I think one of those reasons should be if, if we, we'll just tell them, you know, interest rates are going down. Yeah. So and, and and that's really good news for everybody involved in the real estate market. I think. Right. Yeah. And we've got a great selection of inventory homes, so yeah. you can get in fairly quickly. So yeah. so if you want to do that, I have somebody actually coming on Saturday that's going to take a look at the uh, Royal Palm model. But go ahead and, and do that Harbor Hills. Dot com right right there yeah right there or I'll do it yeah. since it's on my camera today we had a catastrophe oh, uh, before we had right before the shoot uh, John's camera which is probably like a it's it, listen we're low budget here yeah but the camera was a really nice camera had a boom mic and uh, it made us look really good it Maybe. did it made me look a little bit skinnier from the side <laughs> but we had a catastrophe oh. though the camera went out right what happened. I have no idea, but you know, the folks that are watching, they have yeah. no idea how hard it is to do this and keep your gut sucked in the whole time. Yeah, yeah. I just want to sit up a little bit. I'm like, John, you're standing behind the table. You know, I'm like, what are you doing to me? But oh, anyway, oh my uh, gosh. And, and so we had a little problem with the camera, but we're, we're back up on the, uh, on the auxiliary camera. There you go. I guess. So we'll look for that. Um, you know, I'm playing in a golf tournament on Saturday. Okay. It's a big cherry golf tournament. I'm looking forward to that. I got to be honest with you, this is really bad of me. Do you? Can you pull up our calendar? Um, do you have the Harbor Hills calendar? Because there's about 70 people. Um, Dash is putting it on. There's going to be okay. dinner afterwards. But I'm looking forward to that. It's uh, it, that should be a great golf tournament coming up. And then we're going to do uh, last punch of the season for for, the, for those of you who play golf, play where the pros play. Eat where drink, John, where John uh, eats and drinks. Drink. But, uh, last punch of the season. Monday and uh, Tuesday, right? Monday and Tuesday, and then we will be sailing. Uh, the, I played last week. The course is in, in really, really good shape. Uh, the rough this time of year is really tough, so try not to hit it in the rough. You do actually incur a half-stroke penalty if you, oh. yeah, you don't, well, not on yourself, but that's an average, you know, yeah. because it, it, it's just like a hazard, like putting it in the bunker or something. You just got to get it out of the rough, whereas in the summer, uh, in the winter, it's the roughest down because the, that grass doesn't grow as much. But anyway, I feel like I'm talking a lot. You got anything to say? Well, actually, I do. You okay. know, there's a lot of great events here yeah. at, at Harbor Hills. But last week, I just happened to be walking down in the clubhouse, and the ladies, there was a yoga class. Oh, wow. So I posted a picture of the yoga class. And it got a lot of attention from a lot of folks out there. Yeah. So I'm going to put the picture up here now. Okay. Watch. Well, actually, you're going to put the picture up now. Okay. And Sounds it's good. it's the ladies doing yoga, but it's every Wednesday, mm -hmm. nine thirty a.m. Karen Coburn is the one who uh, puts that on for us here. Oh yeah. Here in the clubhouse. And they usually do it on the patio, but since it's been the summer, they've been doing it downstairs. downstairs right? And they'll move it out to the patio as soon as it, you know we get a little more into the uh, fall. Have you ever done yoga? No, I, I can't. I look terrible in yoga pants. Well, thank God. <laughs> I'm glad you don't do yoga. Hey, by that, we'll end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please like us. Uh, subscribe, I guess. A friend of mine who does a podcast, oh, he, says, he says subscribe. He doesn't yeah. say subscribe. Can they so. smash that like button? They can smash. He doesn't say that. He says subscribe. Oh, we don't smash it for that. Okay. You can check us on all our uh, uh, socials, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. 
Uh, we have a TikTok account, which I think Adam does uses every once in a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, subscribe to that. There you go. <laughs> hey, we'll thanks see you for soon. watching. Take care. Bye. Bye. -bye.